limang mahalagang bagay na dapat mong malaman about gouty arthritis at munggo. Hi mga kaim! So, welcome back again sa panibagong episode ng Pinoy Nutrition. And this is Bricks, your nutrition advisor. And for today's episode mga kaim, so gaya ating pag-usapan ng about gouty arthritis at munggo. So first and foremost, gouty arthritis or yuma is a condition where your joints sa paa at sa kamay is usually namamaga. And this is caused by the build-up of the uric acid crystals doon sa joints. Usually namumuo to sa malamig na parte ng ating katawan like ating kamay at ang ating mga paa kasi malayo siya sa ating body core. Para maunawaan mo kung paano nagkakaroon ng gouty arthritis attack is when is when the uric acid crystal detaches from the build up. So, pag na-detach yun, i-identify ng katawan na isa siyang foreign bodies. So, as a natural response, the body will send yung mga antibodies natin to attack the foreign bodies and it will result to a very painful inflammation. Say, for example, nagtumatakbo ka or naglalakad ka na mabilis and then Unknowingly, there are those small crystals that actually break from the formation and it will result to a very painful inflammation. Uric acid on the other hand is a byproduct of protein metabolism. Kumbaga, waste product siya ng protein. Example of protein products are your meat, your fish, your eggs, your dairy products like your milk and cheese beans, and some vegetables. So, totoo nga ba na ang munggo ay nakakapag-cause ng gouty arthritis attack or yuma? The answer is no. According to FNRI or Food and Nutrition Research Institute in the Philippines, munggo, lahat ng klase ng beans, including your sitaw, bagu beans, have no uric acid content. Uh, by the way, mga kahimsog, just to let you know, Munggo plus rice is a complete meal already because yung amino acid or yung protein na wala doon sa munggo which is your methionine and your cysteine can be found in the rice. So by combining rice and munggo, you have a complete meal, you have a complete protein. So here are the five facts. Number one, high fat intake. Cooking munggo with some vegetables in it is completely fine. However, pag niluto mo ni munggo mo with added fat, that will be a problem. Remember na isa sa mga kalaban ng gouty arthritis or yuma is the fat. Because fat triggers the inflammation. Ikadalas ang luto pa man din ng munggo is may halong gata. Di ba? Kasi yun naman talaga yung tradisyon natin ng Pilipino. Pag munggo, gata kagad yung partner nun. Kasi masarap siya, di ba? On the other hand, sauteing some of your ingredients when you are cooking munggo is still okay. Number two, eat munggo alone. So kung nagluluto ka ng munggo, huwag mo nang haluan ng kritong isda, kritong tuyo, karne, at kung ano-ano. Munggo is not the reason kung bakit namamaga or nagkakaroon ka ng episode ng gouty arthritis attack or inflammation. O ito nga, hindi mo nga hinalo dun sa niluto mong munggo. Pero nung kumain ka, kasabay mo namang kinain yung, yung karne mo, yung fish mo, at kung ano-ano pang mga high in uric acid content na product, then it is the same story. Kasi magsasama din sila sa loob eh. I tell you, kahit walang munggo, but if your diet is high in fat, high in uric acid content na mga meat, just like internal organs, yung mga isaw-isaw, okay, at saka yung mga atay, nako po, napakataas ng uric acid content na mga yan. So before tayo pumunta sa number 3, Mag-subscribe ka muna kay Msog. I-hit mo na rin yung notification bell para always kita ma-update pag meron akong mga bagong health tips na i-upload. Salamat! Number 3. Limit your fructose. The end product of fructose is uric acid. Especially pag mga synthetic, just like your high fructose corn syrup that is readily available sa inyong mga soft drinks, cold beverage, candies, and pastries products. 
Number four, drink your water. Tandaan nyo ito mga kahimsong, when you have a very minimal amount of water intake, uric acid crystals are not removed in the urine. So, hindi siya natatanggal sa katawan. And, it will cause saturation of uric acid in the body. Tapos, doon sila mamumuo doon sa inyong mga joints. Isa pa, pag tumatanda tayo, humihina yung sense of thirst. And that condition for the older ones is very prone to have dehydrations. At kung meron ka ng mga history ng gouty arthritis, nako po, delikado. Number five, the last number, don't skip meals. So once you skip meals and then your body needs more energy to support your daily activity, ang dami yung pang ginagawa, your body will use your muscle for your stored energy. And by doing that process, especially pag yung muscle na yung ginagamit ng inyong katawan as a source of energy, the end product will be uric acid as well. So be careful. So that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you do, please like and share this video. Subscribe ka na rin to support this channel. See you in my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.